Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Optometry Goals. So this video will give you a brief information about the fundamental difference between cycloplegics, mediatrics and myotics. Before initiating, we must know what is the cycloplegia and what is cycloplegics. Cycloplegia means paralysis of ciliary muscles, whereas cycloplegics are the drugs that causes cycloplegia or paralysis of ciliary muscles. We have listed some of the examples of cycloplegics, for example, atropine, homatropin, scopolamine, tropicamide, and cyclopentolate. The other we have is mediatrics. Mediatrics are the agents that causes dilation of pupil. Hence, we can say that cycloplegics may act as mediatrics, but mediatrics cannot act as cycloplegics. One of the example of mediatric is phenylephrine. Other is myotics. Myotics are the drugs that causes constriction of pupil, for example, pilocarpine, carbacol, physostigmine sulfate, and phospholine iodide. Next, we have iris and its innervation. We know that iris is the colored part of eye and regulates the amount of light entering in the eye. During bright light, iris constrict the pupil, whereas during dim light, iris dilate the pupil. Now, an iris consists of two muscles. One is dilator and the other is pinter muscles. Dilator are regularly arranged whereas pinter are circularly arranged. They are innervated by parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. Now what important here is to know the neurotransmitter and receptor of the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. In case of parasympathetic nervous system, the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine and the receptor is muscarinic receptor. Whereas in case of sympathetic nervous system, the neurotransmitter is noradrenaline or norepinephrine. Next, we are studying about the accommodation in eye. We know that accommodation is change in the dioptric power of lens and we usually accommodate while doing the near work. An eye accommodates during two conditions. Accommodation via lens when the ciliary body contracts and the zonules relax. And the other is accommodation via pupil when the muscles of pupil contract and block the peripheral rays coming from the periphery of cornea, removing the spherical abrasion and increasing the depth of focus. Now the agents that stop this process, the process of accommodation are cycloplegics. Next we are going to study in brief some of the commonly used cycloplegics in our day to day life. Number one is cyclopentolate 1%. Cyclopentolate belongs to a class of drugs called anticholinergics. Now anticholinergics are the drugs that blocks the action of acetylcholine. We know that acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter of parasympathetic nervous system. That means cyclopentolate will result in dilation of pupil along with the paralysis of ciliary muscle. The tonus allowance of cyclopentolate is 0.75 diopters with the dosage of installation one drop every 15 minutes for three times. The onset is 30 to 60 minutes and duration is more than 24 hours. Other is homatropin 2%. This medication is used before eye examination, before and after the eye surgeries and to treat the conditions such as uveitis. Uveitis is an inflammatory condition of uveal tract. It belongs to a class of drugs called anticholinergics. The tonus allowance for homatropin is 0.5 diopters which, with the dosage of installation one drop every 10 minutes for six times. Duration of action is 48 to 72 hours and the time of performing retinoscopy is after 90 minutes of installation of one drop. Other is atropin. Atropin is the so strongest cycloplegic ever. Atropin is indicated in people below the age of five years. It affects last about one to two weeks with the tonus allowance of one diopters. The peak effect is 2 to 3 days and time of performing retinoscopy is 4th day. Period of post cycloplegic test after 3 weeks of retinoscopy. Now this is the tabular form of onset and recovery of cycloplegics to make the learning easy. In this we have listed atropine, cyclopentolate, homatropine and tropicamide with the maximum midriasis, maximum cycloplegia, duration of midriasis, duration of cycloplegia and few indications. Next is the indication of dilation. Now, according to the American Academy of Optometry guidelines, it is important to do routine dilated fundus examination, especially in case of high myops and di diabetic patients. Because in case of high myops, they may have treatable lesion lattices holes, whereas in case of diabetic, they may have diabetic retinopathy. 
Next, it is also used for diagnostic and therapeutic indication and cycloplegic refraction in children. A uh, cycloplegic refraction in children is, is extremely important, especially in case of hyperopes, because in case of hyperopes, due to the small eyeball, the rays converges behind the retina. But due to an increased accommodation in children, the converging power of the lens increases. As a result, the rays are formed before, which may give different retinoscopy reading, and hence cycloplegic refraction is extremely recommended. It has therapeutic role in amblyopia like penalization by atropin, uveitis, for which homatropin is the choice of drug, and myopia can also be controlled by low dose of atropin. Next, what we have is the contraindication and precautions. Now, we must be very careful with any drug as it may cause an allergic reaction. For example, chlorobutol, a preservative, is quite notorious to cause an allergic reaction in patients. Also, if a patient comes for any glaucoma workup and we diagnose the narrow anterior chamber angle, we must never dilate the patient. Other we have is the myotics. Myotics are used for the treatment of glaucoma and treatment of esotropia and accommodative insufficiency. Pilocarpin is one of the example. It is an effective in treatment of glaucoma by improving the facility of outflow by contraction of ciliary muscles and by decrease, decreasing the aqueous secretion. Onset of meiosis occurs within 10 to 30 minutes and lasts for about 4 to 8 hours. Pilocarpine is available as 1%, 2% and 4%. At last we have mediatrics. Mediatrics are the dr drugs that cause dilation of pupil. Hence it has no cycloplegic effect. For example is phenylephrine hydrochloride. It is available in 2.5%, 5% and 10%. It is a fast acting mediatric with a peak time of 40 to 60 minutes. In this the pupil size remain normal after 4 to 6 hours. So here the video ends and if you liked this video and found this video helpful please do like and subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification to stay connected.